so I have this idea for a series that I want to make on here where basically I take beginners through a free workout program. Especially at this time of year, I think that would be a really cool idea. I personally was a New Year's resolutioner, so I have such a special place in my heart for fellow New Year's resolutioners. And I know that the gym can be a scary place, especially at this time of year. So if you are a New Year's resolutioner right now and you are still killing in the gym, fuck yeah, I am. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I love that for you. This is going to be episode one of this little series that I'm wanting to create. Beginners, this is for you. This is your free workout guide. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but we'll figure it out along the way together. This will be your first workout, dumbbells only, full body, beginner friendly. Let's do it. All you're going to need are some dumbbells and a little corner of the gym where you feel safe. Here we go. Okay, so the two first movements that we're gonna do here are a goblet squat and an RDL, and we're gonna superset these. Now, supersetting does not necessarily mean back to back to back. There can be rest time in between supersets. So, we're gonna grab a weight for our goblet squat. We're also gonna grab weights for our RDLs, and we're gonna bring them back here. Here we go. Now, what weights you should grab for these exercises are so different person to person, so I can't really tell you. I don't know anything about you, unfortunately, but I want you to grab something that feels like an eight out of 10 on the toughness scale for you. Now, we're gonna start with our goblet squat. We're going to grab one of our dumbbells. We're gonna bring it up to our chest here and we're going to find a squat stance that feels comfy for us. Now, every person's squat stance is so different. Some people may be comfortable squatting narrow. Some may have to go really wide. Some people may have their toes straight. Some may need them pointed out. There is no one correct way to squat. I want you to experiment and find what feels the most comfortable for you. Me personally, I have a pretty normal squat stance with my toes turned slightly out. So that's what I'm going to do for this goblet squat. I'm gonna pick this up. We are gonna do 10 reps here. I'm gonna find that comfy stance. I'm gonna have a tall chest. I'm going to sit my hips back and allow my knees to travel forward, sitting my butt towards my heels. We're taking a big breath in on the way down and then exhaling on the way up. We're gonna do 10 here. We're almost there. These last couple reps are gonna get tough, that's okay. Keep driving through the arch of the foot. We're thinking about spreading the floor apart on the way down and on the way up. Ooh, we did it, okay. We're gonna take about 45 seconds to rest and then we're gonna go into our RDLs. So when I teach RDLs to beginners, I personally like to do it with one dumbbell. It's a little bit easier to keep the dumbbell closer to your body and closer to your center of gravity than having to think about and control two dumbbells. So we're going to stand it up on the floor and then we're just gonna grab it underneath that top head. We're gonna have a slight bend in our knees and we're gonna think about reaching our butt back and reaching this dumbbell right into the center of our feet. We're again gonna take a big breath in on the way down and then breathe out on the way up. We're gonna do 10 here, here we go. An RDL is an equal balance of reaching the hips back and allowing the chest to fall forward. We don't wanna just reach the hips back and try to keep the chest up. That's gonna place a lot of stressor, a lot of stressor, a lot of stress on that lumbar spine. Driving through the arch of the foot, we're loading equally into the big toe, the pinky toe, and the heel. We're almost there, we're almost there. Oh, we did it. 
Okay, quick note, if you feel your low back working or tightness in your low back when you're doing things like RDLs, good mornings, even squats, that's completely normal. Our low back is supposed to be working. Our erectors are working very, very hard to keep us upright and prevent us from just doing this. So if you feel your low back working, it is very, very normal. Unless it's a sharp pain or radiating pain down either leg or it sticks around for a long period of time, it's okay, it's normal. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through our goblet squat again and then go into our RDL. Goblet squat one more time, and then RDL, and then we're gonna move on. Here we go. Take a big breath in at the top. We're gonna screw our feet into the floor. Spread the floor apart on the way down and on the way up. We're getting the hang of it. You got this. Should feel a little burn in the legs. Oh, but we made it. We did it. We're gonna rest about 45 seconds and then we're gonna go back to our RDLs and then we just have to do that one more time each and we're done with legs for the day. We got this. Let's do these RDLs. Set number two out of three. Here we go. We've got a slight bend in the knee, not too much. We don't wanna turn this into a conventional deadlift, which would be more bend in the knee. Okay, RDL, we have just a slight bend in our knee, but it's really all about sending the hips back. I think one of the things that confuses beginners the most when we're doing things like RDLs and good mornings is they focus so much on trying to keep the chest up. It's okay for the chest to fall forward. Everything in the body is connected. You remember those little like gear pegboards we used to play with when we were kids and you would turn one peg and the entire board would turn? That's the body. So if the hips go back, the chest has to go forward and that's okay. Once we're done with our 10 of those, we're gonna take another 45 seconds. Whew. And then we're gonna go back to our goblet squats one last time. We are almost done with legs. Let's do this last goblet squat. Y'all ready? Let's get it over with. Last time, last 10. We're gonna take a big breath in at the top. And exhale on the way up. Again, we're loading into the arch of the foot so we have that equal weight in the big toe, the pinky toe, and the heel. We're not only loading into the heel or only loading into the toe. There should be equal weight. We call that a tripod foot. Spreading the floor apart, driving the knees out. General rule of thumb, we wanna keep the knee in line with the third toe. We're almost there, we're almost there. Oh, y'all, we did that. We did that. I'm gonna pop a squat here on my dumbbell real quick. In a second, we're gonna do our last set of our RDLs and then we are done with legs. We are done with legs.
start, y'all. Last set of these RDLs. Let's do it, here we go. Feet are about shoulder width apart. We got a slight bend. And then after that, everything happens at the hips. I would love to hear what some of y'all's goals are for 2023. So drop them in the comments. Putting like words and dates and tangible things to your goals is so, so powerful and it can help a lot with accountability. So drop those goals in the comments. I would love to hear them and hype you the frig up for them. Oh, last one, last one, last one. Oh, we did it. We are done with legs. Oh. Worst part, done in my opinion. <laughs> Let's put these dumbbells back and then I'll show you what we're gonna grab next. Okay, next I'm gonna grab two dumbbells that are lighter than what we just did for our goblet squat. And I'm also going to grab a mat so that I don't have to lay on the nasty floor. Okay, so the next superset that we're gonna do is a dumbbell floor press, superset with some dumbbell rows. All we're gonna need is a mat. You can absolutely do these on a bench. If you are too scared to go into the weight section, that's also okay, and you can do these right on the floor. So this is gonna be a chest and back superset. Again, we're gonna do three sets of 10 of both of these exercises. I'm gonna walk you through them. Here we go. All right, so we've got our dumbbells with us. We're gonna hold them on our lap here. As we lay back, we're just gonna kick them up with us and point them straight to the ceiling, and then we're going to pinch our shoulder blades back. Now you can either have your knees bent or your feet straight. It does not matter to me, just whatever is most comfortable. From here, we're gonna pull these dumbbells apart and down, bring them to our chest, and then drive them straight to the ceiling. Now we don't wanna just fully rest here on the floor, okay? We do still have some tension. We're kind of just letting that tricep touch the floor and then squeeze up and together. Again, we're gonna take a big breath in on the way down and then exhale on the way up. We're just bringing these right about to the mid chest height. We don't wanna bring them up too high and we don't wanna flare our elbows out, but we also don't wanna tuck them completely into the side for this particular exercise. We want them somewhere comfortably in the middle. We're just doing 10 here. Last one, last one, we got this. Oh, okay. And then you can just toss those on the floor next to you. Catch your breath, and we're gonna stand up in a second. And then we're gonna grab our dumbbells. Honestly, for this first week, you should be okay using the same dumbbells that you just did for your floor press. You will see some variation in these weights as you get a little bit stronger. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab those dumbbells and we're gonna get down into that bottom of an RDL position that we were doing when we did legs. Now all we're gonna do here is we're gonna pinch the armpits back or think about pinching the shoulder blades together. And then we're gonna continue that pull by bringing the elbows towards the ceiling. We're gonna pinch our shoulder blades back, really think about pulling the chest through trying to keep the elbows close to the sides. We're breathing out as we row, and then taking a big breath in on the way down. Really think about pulling the chest through when those dumbbells come towards you. Oh, we're almost there. Last one. We did that, all right. Now we're gonna rest. All right, 
We're gonna go back into our floor press, pinching our shoulder blades back together. Here we go. We got 10 of these. One thing I want you to be careful about is something called overpressing. So we don't want to reach those dumbbells towards the ceiling at the top. We want to keep our shoulder blades retracted the entire time. That's going to keep the shoulder a little bit safer in this motion and also just give us a more stable pressing base. All right, last one. Let's push through it. We got it. We got it. Oh. Let's take a second, or 45. I keep looking at the watch that I never wear, and then we're gonna do our rows again. Let's do these rows. We're gonna get down into that RDL position. We got equal weight in the foot. And we're gonna think about pulling the chest through, pulling those dumbbells up towards the ribs. Almost there, fight through this last one. Strong pull. We did it. Oh, we only got to do that one more time. And then we are almost done with this. I promise you, almost done. did that. We're almost done. We're almost done. The hardest part, I promise you, is over. All we're gonna do, we're gonna finish with a little bit of core work. I will show you exactly what we're doing, but right now, let's go put our dumbbells back and I'll meet you back here. We don't need any equipment for this core work, just your beautiful selves. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do some dead bugs and we're also gonna do side plank. So for these dead bugs, we're gonna lay flat on our mat and I want you to press your ribs 
down into your belly button so there's no room between your low back and the floor. If you have to pick your shoulders up off the floor a little bit, that's completely okay. From here, we're gonna get 90 degrees in the hip and 90 degrees in the knee, kind of like a tabletop position. And then we're gonna put our hands straight up to the ceiling. Ideally, we're gonna go opposite hand, opposite leg. But if that coordination is too tough, you can absolutely just do the heel taps. We're gonna do 20 total here. And if this is too tough on your neck, you can absolutely relax it. Just trying to keep the low back glued to the floor the whole time. We're just doing 20 total, opposite hand, opposite leg. If these are too easy for you, what you'll do is you'll just reach out a little bit farther, trying to get that arm and leg a little bit straighter. But the main most important thing here is that the low back stays against the floor the whole time. Oh man, we're almost there, we're almost there. Fight through it. Oh. Okay, we're gonna take about 30 seconds, again, looking at my imaginary watch, and then we're gonna do a level one side plank. Okay, side planks are tough, so I like to break them down into three different levels. So level one, we're not starting yet, I'm just showing you what we're doing. Level one is going to be both knees bent, and we're just sitting right here. Level two, if that feels too easy for you, you're gonna keep the bottom knee bent, but straighten out the top knee, and now we're gonna hang out here. If this still feels too easy for you, we're gonna straighten out both legs and hang out here for the 15 seconds. I am personally gonna opt for the level two today and we're gonna start this in three, two, here we go. We're just hanging out here for 15 seconds. Think about anything else. Think about what you're gonna have for lunch, dinner, whatever time of day it is. Think about what you're doing this weekend. Think about your New Year's goals, drop them in the comments. We're just hanging out here for another five, four, three, two, Rest, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Little spinny spin. All right, get situated on the other side. We are starting in three, two, here we go. Just keep breathing, focus on your breath. We're going in through the nose for three, out through the mouth for three. We're almost there, keep fighting, keep fighting. Five, four, three, two, and we did it. We got two more sets of that and y'all are done. Oh, I love this. Oh, I've been wanting to make this series for a really long time, so I hope y'all are enjoying it. If you are, drop it a like, drop it a subscribe, whatever you do on this app. I hope y'all are enjoying this. I can't wait to hopefully get some more beginners in the gym because this is exactly where I started and you can do really amazing things. You just have to stay consistent. Here we go with another set of our dead bugs. We got 20. Almost there, almost there. Keep fighting through, it's okay if you gotta take a second and then hop back in, that's totally okay. What matters is you hop back in. Oh man, y'all. We just gotta do that one last time, we'll make it, I promise. Let's do this side plank. Here we go in three, two, and start. We're gonna hang out for 15 seconds here. <sighs> Slow and steady breaths. We got five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh. Same thing on the other side. And then we're almost done. We've almost made it. In three, two, here we go. Almost there, almost there. Five, four, three, two, and done. 
We gotta do that one last time and then we are out of here for reals. so much fun to film and I'm so proud of you we did that drink your water eat your protein and I will see you for day two